Hello, Kate here, MyNaturalHappiness.com, my creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster to happiness, founder of Shine Your Light Goddess, Shine Your Light Boot Camp Reading School of Reiki. Hope you're well, hope you're having fun. I am um, gently landing into working life after having a few weeks off in August and it's, I mean, I know I'm, uh, I know I have created um a beautiful work-life balance and they're landing in it's going to take me a few days so if you're awaiting replies to emails please bear with me while i find my bearings again in the uh, in the landing of the work life so i hope you're well i hope if you have uh, got children that they are enjoying going back to school if they're at the back to school age and i hope that you're enjoying you're landing into September. It's always beautiful in September to sort of sit and think about um, any goals and, and where you want your life to go. I think in the new school year, for me, it, it I notice that it's a real uh, time for me to think about where I'm going and what I want to achieve. And uh, I often start new courses in September because it's a nice time to do that. I find for me in the cycle and the rhythm of my life so if you're enjoying sort of thinking about where you want to go next then just feel into it it's always good it's always good we'll have the autumnal seeds of change um program the autumnal shine your light goddess shine your light boot camp um we'll be starting at some point in september and if you're interested and you just want to be uh um on the waiting list and the first to know about it please do drop me an email and then i can add you to that and as soon as the dates have been finalized then i will be able to let you know so as always i um, pulled out a card for you for watching this video so beautiful so so beautiful moon take note of intuitive messages use your intuition practice discernment see through illusions and blockages the moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving if the sun is god the moon is goddess and so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance Ooh, I think we'll come in. Uh, she has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotion which often come and go in waves and to somewhat interesting behaviour. So when the moon appears in the reading, you are oft, often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side too. Just dark, not negative, just dark. And can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Lunar energies are surrounding your life allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you're being guided to use your discernment. When the moon appears, intuitive or psychic urges are increased, so take note of any feelings arising at this time. There are messages from your soul and from your angels. The moon shines her light on all that you have been uh, shine her light on all that has been kept in the dark so ask yourself if you avoid are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance if so it could be holding you in the shadows when your destiny is to be in the light if this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you know that their intentions will be revealed to you the moon has no secrets. She reveals all. And that's so powerful, actually, to look at, sort of, you know, what's going on behind behind uh, the scenes. It's so powerful. Uh, so much of that resonates with me. The, the most important thing, if you're avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance, I've got Paperwork Central to deal with at the moment. And, uh, and that's the one thing that I'm like, oh, I'll just go for an, an intuitive walk and feel into what's going on when I should be at my desk doing the paperwork. And so I know that that's what's resonating with me. 
Um, tax offices don't wait. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, what's resonating. But so often it's about just feeling into the guidance, the intuition, the inner knowing of what's going on within your soul. And a way that works so beautifully is if you ask yourself in the sleep, as you say in sleep, if you ask your soul, your angels for guidance, um, and if you can imagine being connected into the moon and the lunar energies, you can often get some really amazing dreams that can help help just sort things out along the way and help just fit thing you know filter things through so you can make decisions on perhaps things that you have not been making decisions about which is really powerful because then you just move forward and I know um, those who've been watching uh, these videos over the last few months I know that I'm just on the cusp of getting my um, first draft of my well, first draft but the, the copy of my books all printed up and ready to go and so that I can say look I've got a book written and I know that I'm I know I'm holding back from looking at that because that's it's so scary no it's just it hasn't been the right timing over the august i knew i could make the decisions on the front cover and the things and so now it's time to start doing that and sometimes it's about timing and sometimes it's about avoidance and just working out which is which is really powerful i knew in august i wouldn't make any decisions and so i allowed myself to not make those decisions in August. Now September's here, time to start making those decisions so that you can read the book, which will be amazing. Anyway, so that's our card for the week for watching the video. It's a gentle message because I'm still easing back into work. Uh, but I hope you have the most amazing, 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 amazing week. And oh, sending you such a big hug of love. Is so much love. Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hands towards happiness. Founder of Shine Your Light Goddess, Shine Your Light Bootcamp. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing week. Lots of love. Take care.